Hey everyone, it's MGems here. Welcome back to Life is Strange 2, Episode 2. So in the last part, we found out that Sean and Daniel had found this cabin in the woods, but Daniel's actually sick, so we have to go to our grandparents' house that live in Beaver Creek and um, try to get him some medicine and help, and hopefully they're nice. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, Okay, don't sorry. be mad at me, I'm sorry. Ooh. I was doing an intro. Yeah, you could have just done that. Why are you getting mad at me? So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Daniel. Um, last time I told him not to swear, but I kind of want to say it's, it's going to be okay. Like, we want to be strict, but we want to be supportive and loving and hey, all that. Hey, cool down. It's going to be okay. I know. That affected something. What, what did you pack in? I'm so the nervous about affecting dude, him in a bad you way. You can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> okay, I thought we were going to have to decide between awesome. things. Thanks, Sean. Well, it looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Oh no. Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. Do not tell <sighs> okay. me something's happening I'll to the dog. I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Oh, I could go now. Ugh, okay. I'll do what the game wants me to do. But I'm very worried. I guess having clean water is kind of important. I know Life is Strange too well to ever trust basically any scenario. Can we take anything else with us? Like some extra food? Oh, we ate it all. How do we eat it all? Or we put it in his bag, I guess. <laughs> that would make more sense. Oh shoot, something's gonna happen and Daniel's gonna forget his bag, isn't he? I'm worried. Okay, all done. Okay, let's Where go. Where the hell is he? Oh god. Oh god. Wait, maybe- can you take the bag? No? Okay, let's go. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Well, he has to be out here. Daniel! Please don't tell me something happened to Mushroom. Where is he? Oh, I hate this. It's so nerve-wracking and anxiety-inducing having a little brother. I wouldn't know in real life. I only have older brothers, but... We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Okay, just follow the footprints, I guess. Call him. Daniel? Where are you? Uh... Oh, I can only do it once in a while? No. What the fuck happened here? Wait. Maybe it's just a rabbit. Maybe Mushroom went after a rabbit and killed a rabbit. Oh shit. Dude! What are you doing? No. That's not good. Can you show a little more urgency, Sean? And just run? I think Daniel's probably okay, but I'm worried about the dog. <laughs> the dog is my main concern. I have a really bad feeling. That's a lot of blood. Oh shit, oh shit. Daniel? Oh shit. <gasps> no! 
down. Down. Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm upset. I can't. I knew it. I knew something was gonna happen to Mushroom. This icon implies Daniel's power. Oh my god, I don't even have any idea what would be the right choice here. Okay, Mushroom is dead. We can't bring her back. But... Do I let Daniel... If I don't let him do something, then this thing, this animal might hurt him. But I also don't know if I should let him use his powers for revenge purposes. Oh, shit. Also kind of curious to see what happens if I just don't intervene. Oh my god, this is, <laughs> this is a tough first choice. I feel like the right thing to do is to step forward. But I kind of don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna not intervene. Maybe we can talk to him afterwards? Oh jeez, I hate this! Oh god, do we stop him? Maybe we- no, maybe we should stop him because if he kills this animal... Oh my god, I don't know why I'm struggling so much. <laughs> it's the first choice of the game, I'm already struggling so much with it. Okay, maybe I should step forward. Maybe I should stop him. Shoot. Okay. This could be a really bad decision. Oh no, is Sean gonna get hurt? No! No! Mushroom! <laughs> Why? Fuck! <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> it just. wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. Damn it. It's all right. That sucked. Oh, that really sucked. I oh, I had such a feeling that something was going to happen to Mushroom. I'm pretty sure she was already dead, right? So like, it just- it was just a revenge thing. Sometimes in this game, like, you just don't know what the impact of your decisions are gonna be until you make them. And I- I didn't want Daniel to just kill an animal. Here. Because he was you should upset and angry. That's it. It's bullshit. I can't even bury her. I know, well, I'm sorry. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggle. And I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom. 
for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? Yes. With dad? Yes. Why would you say nah? Are you kidding? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Oh, I hate this. I want to give him a hug Wait. so bad. What about his allergies? <laughs> Don't worry, Anana. <laughs> There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. Mushroom. Oh, damn it. Well, my heart's already broken. I should have known. It's life is strange. Like, what are we meant to expect other than sadness? <laughs> oh, I just feel so bad for Daniel. Like, I feel like I'm glad I didn't let him. Wish we didn't have to go. Kill the animal, like but. The house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? They'll protect the next runaways that stay here. But I'm also would have been so interested to see you in what would happen if we if he had mushroom. done it. So long, my dudes. House mushroom. <laughs> okay, gotta shake it off. We're gonna see the grandparents. We're gonna have happy times ahead. Hopefully. Okay, so we're back through the forest. Wonder if we're gonna have like this long journey or if we're just gonna end up there. Finally, some iconic Life is Strange music. One of my favorite parts about this game. He's so upset. I think he's kind of pissed at Sean for stopping him too. Because that could be the other thing. Like, if we try and restrict him too much, he might rebel against us. That's why I said I feel like we have to kind of find a balance between letting him use the powers and holding him back. That just kind of seemed like a good time to hold him back, though. But it's just so hard to know how your choices are actually going to pan out. I like this montage, though. It's cute. It's really beautiful. Lovely forest aesthetic. Especially in the winter time. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm from Canada, so this is very familiar to me. Oh, we have mushroom drawn on the back of our backpack. Constant reminder. This is so beautiful. But really sad seeing them huddled together in the middle of the night in winter. And Daniel's sick. Okay, we made it to a road. That's a good sign. I'm kind of surprised Sean knows where to go, to be honest. I would be completely lost and would absolutely just die out in the woods. That's a nice shot. I just feel like at the end of this, 
what I really want is Daniel and Sean to have a really close relationship. I don't want to do anything that really drives them apart. Are we getting supplies? Asking for directions? Looks like we've made it. To the town, at least. I'm so excited. We made it! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Okay. Please be nice to us. We've had a long journey. Please accept <laughs> us. We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. Look when at the Santa now? on the... We <laughs> hanging off. So, Sean has been here then. Oh my god, what is going to be their reaction? Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. It's not a good sign. We don't we want look to look like kind of roughed up a little bit. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Just please be nice to th these boys, please. Okay. What if they went on vacation? Or we'll just break into the house. Something. It's probably fine. We'll figure out something. Oh, maybe they won't be home. We'll have to go next door. Oh, okay. They're home. I'm sorry. We don't want any of. Do you recognize us? At least Sean. Hello, Claire. Sean. Oh my. Is that Daniel? She must have seen stuff in the news, though. Look who's here! After all this time. They seem happy, this is good. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. I mean... The grandma seemed really nice in Captain Spirit, so... Oh, hopefully it's gonna go well. I wonder if we're gonna explain the whole story to them. I mean, probably not the powers part. God, Sean looks so much older. Like, all this grief has just, like, aged him so much. I want us to have a nice family Christmas. You be nice. Hey, is it, uh, warm enough for you? Okay, oh, good. Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine. But you should have taken better care of him. Okay, could have judgy been grandma. You were lucky. We're literally Stephen, on the run, okay. May I talk to you for a second? Okay, maybe grandma's not the nice one. Everyone always feels so much sympathy for Daniel, and I get it that he's younger, but like Sean is technically still a kid too. Oh shit. I'm so hungry my belly hurts. Oh, Sean. God, I just want to hug I him so bad. Remember that. I think it used to be in the living oh. room. Feels so awkward to be. I can hear them whispering. Really irking me. I want to know what they're saying. Oh, fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? No, I mean, they're not going to call the cops on you. They better not. It's good to be inside. Daniel will go all superpowers on you. I just hope they let us stay the night. That would be pretty cruel if they didn't.
Like, if she was that nice to Chris, I feel like she'd be nice to her own grandchildren. I hope they at least hear him out, you know? Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. Okay, so they know. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Okay, uh, <laughs> none of these are amazing answers. Seriously feels accusatory. I don't want to say fucking bullshit. I don't want to say I don't know. Oh shit, um, none of these seem good. Uh, I don't know. I swear, I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but... That seems like a bad answer. All I know is that... He shot Dad. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but... Why did you run away if you're innocent? Oh... Yeah... Might be kind of hard to explain to them. Freaked out, had no choice to protect Daniel. Mm. I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. That's a bad, that's a bad excuse. Like that, <laughs> I felt like I had to protect him. I understand. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. Yes. We're glad you two are okay. Please take us in. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't, I can't do everything. Stay on the run forever. So What are your plans? Should we tell them we're going to Mexico? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Go down to Mexico. Should be fine. To Puerto Lobos. She doesn't like it. Dad has a family house there. Sean. You she can't like run it. away from the law like like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Thank you, oh, Grandpa. Stephen. Maybe we should. After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family. God, what did the mom do? I feel like it was we bad. We prove it, okay? Oh, I want to ask not scared, but I'm just going to say thank you. I'm just going to defuse Seriously? the situation. That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no circus. The biggest rule is keep your head okay, Grandma. around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay. See Look at his shirt. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> oh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, 
You and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. Seems like she, like, low-key wants hungry. to kick us out, but, but also yourself. cares. I don't know. At least Grandpa seems really nice. I mean, they are putting themselves at risk keeping us here, so... We shall see how it goes. And, uh, hopefully... Chris's dad isn't gonna be a problem. How do you feel? Superwolf. Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And good. I'm glad he's feeling better. Yeah. yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? I guess. Just follow my lead. Okay, well, I'm just gonna agree, even though she's letting sure. us stay here, so. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? Oh. And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh. Daniel's so sweet. Everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. <laughs> Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Well, that was nice. You always have okay. to like have faith to. It's bedtime. Try to you know, get some rest. You still give need thanks it. for stuff. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It's so nice to see them like happy for once, or just at least like not super worried. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. <laughs> well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Okay, so it seems like Sean is the one who's really against anything to do with his mom, but Daniel still maybe feels... Like, he wants to know her more. I don't want to say no way. Like, he has the right to be curious. Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Oh, Daniel, I mean, that's kind of sad. I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? 
Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Hmm, so Sean is pretty curious about it. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Yeah, anyway, that's not really what I thought he was going to say when I picked that option, but... the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight. Little cub. Oh. I mean, obviously something's going to happen. Daniel is going to say something or do something. I wonder what they would have said if we had showed up with Mushroom. Probably would have turned us away. Maybe that's why Mushroom had to die. I'm still not over it. I'm still upset. But I'm really glad that they're feeling better and a little safe, at least temporarily. Hopefully the grandma doesn't turn on us, though, and call the police. Oh, it's been a week. Oh, I wonder if we're not going to get to see Daniel meet Chris. He's probably already friends with him. Oh, this looks like a kid's room. Oh, man. I could sleep all day long in this bed. I wonder if this way too hungry. was a room for Sean when he was like really little or something. Man, I miss that dirty little dog. Me too. I miss so mushroom. Much I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. They're not allowed to leave at all. Well, I, I would understand around town, but can they go in the backyard? This is pretty good so far. Not that they would want to, actually. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. After being in the wilderness for so long. Inherent mice? Okay. <laughs> oh. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to look at that this again. This is pretty good so far. Let's I get love dressed. This. In our maybe still disgusting clothing. I guess we've been here for a week, so they've probably done laundry. All right. I'm allowed to go out now. Yes. Pants are good. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but <laughs> I will never wear these things. Not quite your style. Um, I wonder if we have any more things now. Okay, this is just all the stuff that he took with him. Demon blonde. <laughs> um, got a book. Blanket. Oh yeah, more journals. Okay, we should just go through it quickly. Huge progress today. Oh yeah, this picture we drew, nice. Yeah. Burning cold, had to carry Daniel for over two miles. No one's stopping to help us. What's wrong with these guys? Oh man. Dan getting better. He's eating like a horse, that's good, yeah. Been hanging out with Oh, Claire and Steven, right. I was like, who is CNS? Walking on eggshells. Yeah. Reynolds rules, okay. Discretion, don't leave the house. Disconnection, no phone, internet. Daily chores, homework for Daniel. <laughs> LMAO, good luck with that, Claire. Yeah. Yep. Wow, those are really beautiful. 
putting those uh, colored pencils to use. Nice. Damn, look how far we've gone. That's crazy. Wow. That, so that was a long trek to get from the house down there. Jeez. Um, oh, we haven't collected anything yet. I hope I haven't missed stuff. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Okay, so he's still practicing the powers. That's good. I have a feeling we're going to need them. Okay. Oh. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> <laughs> good. He deserves to be spoiled. Yeah, I agree. Sean! Finally. Ooh, I'm excited to explore their house. This is gorgeous. It's almost done. So come down when you're ready, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna look through all your stuff first, Grandma. Ooh. Whoa. This is crazy. Here. What's up? Ah, look who's here. But you're too late for the nine fifteen. Um, rude, Daniels. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't. Be late this time. I'm glad they get along so good. Yeah, I just wish people Daniel's were a little the ideal grandson. A little bit nicer I to won't. Sean. Again, like he's just a kid too, you know. Who's in those pictures? Hmm. Can I snoop through your room? I better no. not sneak in. They won't like it. Ugh, that never would have happened in Life is Strange 1. Max could go anywhere and look through anybody's stuff. A little bit more realistic, though, actually. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. They have so wow. many pills and stuff to take. I was just gonna say that they have Sucks a big stock old. there. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. You should be hoping that you will have to, because that means you'll li live a long life. <laughs> oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I don't know, man. I saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. Ugh. <laughs> I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Um... That was a really dramatic zoom in of toothpaste with no text, okay? <laughs> wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. What else can we look at? <sighs> Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. <sighs> I can't believe they fixed it. And kept yeah. it. It's been locked ever since we got here. Oh, lame. I kind of don't give a fuck. Okay, Sean. I give a fuck. Okay. I want to look around. Alright, guys. I'm going to get some food. More doors to go through, maybe? Steven doesn't like no. us in here when he's away. I really like their house a lot. That is so extra. Better Just having the quick. a fish tank Claire's there. For us. Whoa, look at this mural. I love that. But I love how it's also like not perfect. You look at the wallpaper and stuff. Details, man. Love some me some details. Nice TV. No wonder the boys want to stay here forever. Oh, they have an easel. Someone's a painter. Maybe we can bond over being right. artists. Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. You Nothing. can sit down, Sean. Okay, I'm just looking Aren't around. You hungry? Being thorough. Ooh, that looks scary. I want to go in here. I like how he just didn't answer her. Oh, it's just a laundry it's room. It's cool he took Man. us in, but Claire's food smells so good. How long are we going to stay here? I'm starving. Okay. okay. Too many Sean's talking at once. 
Okay, I'm gonna go eat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sean. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother mm, is ready. Grandma, show me a ball star. Steven. Your grandson needs to eat now. <laughs> you can show him the boxcar later. I want waffles. I'm hungry. I love how they're getting along. Yeah, let's ask if she needs help. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. <laughs> no trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo choo! <laughs> this is so nice, and I don't want the nice, sweet moments to end, but I know they're going to. Ah, oh, sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> he can Precious. fix his trains, but. Not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Oh, I don't want to bring up Seattle, I don't think. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. Oh, well, they haven't met the neighbors yet. To him, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. And they're gonna be best friends, I hope. I'm so excited. Just from that one screenshot that I saw of them with both with face paint on. I want to get to that point. I guess this is happening like the same time as the events of Captain Spirit. So she's probably going to go... Daniel. Stop. Stop it, you crazy? Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. Did I make us look more suspicious? Oh. <laughs> I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, okay, Grandma, we're fine. I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. Mm. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Is he being rebellious because we told him to stop? And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Sean looks really pissed. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Sean looks real pissed. Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. Oh. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. Okay, I have been. <laughs> Don't be sassy with me, it's Grandma. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. I feel like Daniel has the right to know. I know he's just a kid. Maybe they're trying to protect him or... But Daniel needs that. He at least needs the closure. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. He's gonna go in the room. <laughs> um, I kind of want to ask. Did mom ever contact you? 
she so only talked she to dad just a few times. up and left no explanation and she was gone <sighs> yes she was you know sean even her parents i don't really want to talk about this anymore it's over anyway okay you have to respect my rules under my roof okay Oh my god, don't tell her to chill out. I don't want to make things worse. Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Yeah, so like, I don't really agree with what the grandma's saying. I mean, you know, but, like, I'm just trying to keep the peace here because she's taken a risk keeping us or letting us stay anyway, and, um... It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. Giving us clothes, giving us food, like, I think we should really just... Oh, this is the conversation. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. No, I want to listen to it. Daniel's going nuts in here. Just casually. I'm not here, eavesdropping. Can I sit? <laughs> You're not saying anything. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, anyway, we stopped our training session since we got here, Steven so... His services are required. It sucks. He loves that treehouse. What bad guys? What do you mean? It's so cool to see it from the other side. She just hangs up. Fuck it. He's probably fine. I'm just gonna read my book now. <laughs> Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. So is this TV. We have a set, but they only watch boring shows and cable news. Let them live their life, Sean. Okay. I thought it meant draw on the wall. I was gonna be like, what the hell? No. <laughs> um, yeah, we could do a little drawing. I wanna be in your drawing. Where did you come from? Thought you were outside. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice. I've to looked see enough. You Time to draw now. You're so okay, cool. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Yeah, we might as well. I like seeing the final uh, okay. pictures. Got it. Nice. Is that finished or we need more? A little more? Okay, we got the full thing. I know that's just probably for like an achievement thing, but I like doing it. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. <laughs> Aww. You had a dog? Yes. Old Polly left us three years ago. Oh, where? I want to see. she's still with us, day after day. Isn't she in heaven? Grandma? With the mushroom? Of course she is. Okay, good. I was worried about what she's, she's going to say. Thoughts as well. That's nice. <sighs> Finally, some fresh air. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. I thought he was saying that to the grandma. I was like, Sean, don't be so sassy. Let's tidy up a bit. She might like that. I'm really trying to get on their good side, you know? I heard Claire rehearse some songs. Oh, She's that's got nice. the groove. I like that. Ooh. Can we decorate more? Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. What, you guys never decorated for Christmas? Thank you for tidying up a little. Oh, see, she liked it. Yeah. No problem. Oh, this looks cool. No probs, Grammy. Too bad it's broken. Oh. 
What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. But it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty cool, anyway. Yeah. Well... Claire and Stephen are super kind. Hmm. You're not gonna finish that Sean, thought, Sean? Quick! Look at this fish! What? It's You're so full of it. beautiful. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Come on! I told okay. you there's a fish in it. I think we looked at everything. Cereal. Oh, we'll tidy that. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. Equals happy grandma. Equals grandma not kicking us out, hopefully, or calling the police on us. <laughs> I feel like she would do that, but just like, you never know. Mm. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. She would be brutal. Flan. Claire paints all these. Okay, so she's Not the artist. Not my style, but pretty impressive. We can bond over this. This is good. <sighs> yeah. Ah. Uh, pretty different from the one we had back at home. Hug grandparents. That's so cute. Claire, everything else. That's a pretty easy list of chores. Oh. I thought we were sneaking somewhere, but... Daniel, what are you doing? What the heck are you doing? Oh. It's cool that Claire does her... little paintings. Oh, fun. Yeah, let's clean that up. See you tonight, buddy. How does Daniel even have homework that he can work on? Like, I don't know. Claire can drop pretty damn good. Hmm. Guess it runs in the family. Toothpaste? <laughs> I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Like, where did he get that? <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm honestly kind of surprised the police would just call them and not come and show up here. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can Is that me? You hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me. Sure. Hold on. Um. Yeah, I will do that, Grandpa. And I think I will do that in the next episode. And I'm gonna leave this here for now. So I really am loving this so far. Um. I'm super glad that Sean and Daniel have made it to their grandparents' house. I'm assuming in the next episode we will get to see Chris, which is really exciting. And um, I think that the cops might show up at some point just from the trailer, so that's a little scary. Uh, it really sucks about Mushroom. I'm still upset about it, to be honest. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Okay, Sean. Okay, Tanner's hold on. going nuts in here. <laughs> um, but I'm loving this so much, I just want to keep playing it and see where the story goes. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. You can also hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of when new videos come out. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part.